Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna start out on this easy mandala with a homemade stone from gypsum cement in a silicone mold. And I'm gonna start off by sanding off that little centered dot. Let's take a peek at the color scheme. Lots of nice pastel colors for this design. I am going to start out with a coat of white gesso for a base coat. And then we are gonna get started with our blended background. To do this blended background, we're gonna start by putting a stripe of each color onto the stone. And I'm kind of using the width of the brush as my guide to get those stripes on. The next step is to take the clean brush and dip it in some clean water and then go over each of the lines where two different colors are meeting. Now I'm going to go back with each of the colors and fill in any spots that look like they got a little washed out from the water. And while that paint is still wet between the two colors, I will use the brush to blend where the colors are meeting each other. So this is really a process until you get it where you're happy with the way the colors are blending and the coverage that you're getting. So it may take several coats, you may get it in one or two tries, but it's just what you're comfortable with. Because the spacing of my stripes ended up having pink at the top and the bottom, I decided that that's going to be the color that I put around the side and the back of the rock. I often have been getting some comments asking what I do with the back of the stones if I have multicolors on the front. So with this one, I decided to have the pink be the unifying color on the back of the stone as well. take some of this folk art extreme hologram glitter paint and just give an overall coating to the whole rock and this is going to give a beautiful shine and sparkle underneath the mandala design it's really pretty once you get resin on there how it catches the light For the mandala, I'm gonna use my numbered mandala tool set. I love these because each tool has two sizes. They go up incrementally from one to 16, and so they're a really good way to start out when you are just trying to get a feel for the size of the dots. So I'm gonna take the number 16, which is the largest, to put my center dot on the stone. I can still kind of see that spot we sounded off. And then I'm gonna start with the number two and put four dots in the four directions and then fill in two dots in between each of those dots. Now I'm gonna take the number four size dotting tool. So I'm gonna go up from here on out in even numbers. So two, four, six, eight. And then I'm going to place the next set of dots in between the last set of dots. So it's kind of like you're nesting them between the smaller dots. And then I'll keep continuing this pattern all the way out to the edge of this stone. There are many mandala artists out there that do these amazing and beautiful intricate designs. Mine are a little bit simple. I stick to this kind of basic pattern but that does not mean that they aren't just as stunning. You can do some really cool things and we're gonna add more color to this after we get all the white dots on. But I find this process to be so relaxing. I don't know if it's the expected pattern and you know the way it's gonna go, but I think mandala stones are so relaxing to do. They're calming and it's just kind of neat to watch the design take shape. Now 
Now we're going to add the secret Easter surprise to this stone by adding some little bunnies on the edge dots. So I'm taking a smaller size dotting tool to add the bodies of the bunny and then I'm going to take a fine line paintbrush and use kind of that excess drip from the paint being on the edge and create the bunny ears on each of these dots. and add the color in the same order that we did our background stripes. So I'm starting with the pink and now I'm starting with a number one tool because that's the smallest. So this is the number one on the number two white dot. And I'm placing the dot not in the center of the white dot but towards the middle of the stone. So it almost looks like a blooming flower petal when you look at them up close. And so I'm moving up with the odd numbers. On the white dots we moved up with even numbers, two, four, six, eight. Now I'm moving up with odd numbers one three five seven don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to see more of my mama's videos Now I'm going to come back to that extreme hologram glitter and a nail dotting tool and we're going to add these really subtle little bunny tails to our bunnies. So I want to load up the dotting tool with the glitter paint and then put a nice thick dot for the bunny butt. I am purposely making these dots nice and thick so you can actually feel them when they're dry because it'll give that nice little bunny tail appearance. out how that hologram glitter catches the sunlight once there's resin on this design and you can also see how the bunnies are kind of a secret surprise because they aren't apparent until you turn the rock hit that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for stopping by to watch and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.